taking? Good boy, good boy, good boy. Oh no. <laughs> Even with having a uh, granny with him. You're fine. If eyes could be on stalk like the cartoons, that's what you are right now. <laughs> His heart is going like the clappers. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me. viewers will recognize the end of this driveway from all the times we've picked Lola up in the trailer, won't they? And then it's recording Tina, so then you can move it around and... Oh. Hi Mr Cameraman! <laughs> <laughs> Frank says hi! I had to come down to strip off and boil him! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, then you can just move it around and see how smooth it keeps it. So like move it around... Hello! Hello! Look, we promised the ponies would be in it, and they are. They are. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to this oh, week's vlog! Yes! <laughs> you just take the words out my mouth. We haven't really got very much planned, to be quite honest. And it's very windy, so you probably won't even be able to hear us. Yeah. Apologies. But, <laughs> yes, we've met up for a hack Saturday morning. Um, nice and yeah. On a picnic. He hasn't been out for over a week, has he? No. And he was very feisty to start with, but now he's with his granny. He's calmed down. Yeah, I feel like this may have to stop in a second because if you see what is coming up, it is, is a, a counterpass, Frighty. It is indeed. <laughs> this is where I went for a hack with my mum the other day and she took over, like she came out of here and then wanted to go up there cantering, went past me and Lola and I was like, cheers mum, thanks for that. <laughs> but then it was a bit of karma because she lost her stirrups so then she couldn't stop. She was like, stop! <laughs> yes. Um, do you so, think we've had much rain? I know. Uh, uh. Golly nice. galosh is doing their thing though. Very true, very yes. true. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. Bear with, ah. let's have a canter. Instagram asking what you guys would like to see in this weekend's vlog because we're not doing a lot. No, we're not. We had a bit of space, didn't we? So we I said, a few little things. M, what did people reply? She went, oh, I haven't looked yet. <laughs> Crack I on had then. a bit of a mere morning, to be quite honest. Oh. My car wouldn't start, then we tried to do it off Chris's van, couldn't find the battery, <laughs> work, then didn't couldn't go find work. the battery. Couldn't find it, we've done that in your Mercedes before. Haven't yeah. We? <laughs> Come hacking with us, we said. Get stuck in brambles with us, we said. You two choosing your eventing fixtures. That's quite a good one. Fixtures? Yes. Ooh, that is a good one. That is a good one. That is a very good one. I don't know if it's Christmassy enough for this weekend, though. I think that might be in the new year. What? Just stop. Somebody's just put, what is the favourite piece of tack that you own? <gasps> can't she can't that. talk. She'll answer that one on Tuesday. This vlog is going to run from Saturday to Tuesday. It might then end abruptly. 
so that it gets uploaded Tuesday night. I have a little three dot to be continued. <laughs> to be continued. Um, yeah. What's the favourite piece of tech that you own then, Em? <laughs> Wait, uh, 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 just trying to go mountaineering a moment up that. <laughs> Oh, good boy, Banks. Could you be calm down with Granny? Mine's my saddle. 100% my saddle. I did change my saddle a few years ago. Banks didn't like it. Um, and I managed somehow to get my old saddle back and I will never, ever, ever change it again because it's my comfort blanket. I absolutely love it. It fits me well. It fits him well. And yeah, um, I don't want to give the game away anymore now. <laughs> oh, you're not even on camera. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I love my stirrups too. I do love my stirrups. Yeah, that's something that that's I... That's a piece of tack. I'm hoping Santa might bring me. Ooh, have you asked him nicely? I have. Have you written your list yet? I have, I've written it and I've sent it. And I've... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, mate? That wasn't very lazy like. Em's like, no, you've got to, you've got to edit that out. <laughs> We've always said Spike's a bit of a tomboy, it's fine. <laughs> this is one that I love. Oh, no wind. You got, uh, just you guys getting out somewhere, even with the dogs, having fun. Love the vlogs. That's what we're doing. And we might take the dogs know, for a walk in a bit. We did say that, didn't we? Yeah. Because we were going to do introducing our other animals, but actually I think you guys know them, don't you? Or not? Other animals. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we might include a bit of that. We could. But it won't be the sole title. No. Shall we go round the cows? I'll introduce you to the bull. <laughs> Has he got a name? Um, I think so. <laughs> oh, I think so, but I don't know it. Eddie. Eddie the bull? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Eddie. Oh, what, what cow did you have when you were little? Me. Wasn't it Daisy? Minnie. Oh. Minnie. Oh, we won't talk about a, that. I might find a picture and we can add it in there. Of Minnie? Yeah, I love Minnie. Aww. She used to let me pat a forelock when I was sitting on the floor and then Dad would tell me off and tell me to get the hairbands out of her. <laughs> yeah, I've always loved plaiting. <laughs> <laughs> Hence your hair today. Yeah. Dorothy Platt. I'm sure she'll try. See, she'll always find a way. <laughs> and there would be the pigs. Uh -oh. oh, hear the noises they're making. Good boy, good boy, good boy. <laughs> oh no. Even with having a uh, granny with him. He's right, he's You're fine. He's they came running over, didn't they, Banks? Look at your face. <laughs> if eyes could be on stalk like the cartoons, that's where you are right now. <laughs> His heart is going like the clappers. Look what's the fuss, is. right? Hey, what's the fuss? Not face at all. She doesn't understand <laughs> at all. Unlike him. Right. <laughs> 17 hands, not 15. Yeah. Now. It's like he wants to. He wants to be brave enough to look today. I can't see them. Don't you? Know. Where are they? Oh, I don't know where the piglets are. So ponies ridden, done, mucked out. Quick change. Now grab some stuff and heading to M's to wrap some prezzies that we've got for the brands that we work with. Um. Oh, what are you doing? Sorry, interrupted there by the hubby. Um. Heading over to Em's to do some wrapping. She hasn't even got any paper, so I was like, shall I just bring the presents and the cards? Uh, you've got paper, yeah? No. <laughs> so good job I asked. I've walked the paper with me. In gym attire, because then heading to the gym to do run two, week eight. Week eight, run two. Sounds better that way. Of Couch 5K, because I'm determined I want to finish it by Christmas. Determined, determined, determined. So squeezing that into the middle of my day, although I would not normally go for a run on a Saturday. It does feel a bit mad putting gym clothes on in the middle of the day, not first thing in the morning or last thing at night. Um, but yeah, we're going to do it, get it done. I'm determined, determined, determined to finish it. Uh, yeah, so let's head to M's. Oh, and the pause a minute ago was Robbie up to no good. I'm not even going to say what he was doing. Hence, camera went off and waited till I got in the car to continue with that.
Da -da 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 -da. Wrapping complete. Yes. Now Next to decide um, who they're actually for. <laughs> <laughs> and what else? Write some cards, but we write can't write cards. on mum's table. So oh. Thanks for reading the biscuits. So yes, blue chip, champion, puff, worth, 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 worth. Uh, I should be doing this with it. Da 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 da! And now I'm um, um, brain blank. Up to you to keep the fire going, alright? Okay. Don't forget. So just put something in it, how long until we need something? Just poke it and blow on it, don't you? Yeah, just put it in. Oh. Yeah, I thought oxygen No, because it'll all come back out and then I'll be in trouble for making a mess. Oh, cool. What are we doing? We're going to write these, but concentration, because the camera's rolling. Let's yes. not leave this rolling for no, minutes, it's hours on end. Oh, so, no, no, no. So, yes, we have basically, we have wrapped up some biscuits. We have, and we're going to send them to our brands that we work with yeah. as a little thank you for the year. Yeah. Um, Thank you for their support and all the lovely products and yeah, just being so lovely because they're all lovely. Yeah, we wouldn't work with anybody that's not, not lovely. lovely. No. <laughs> they just make our job not job, job. but they make <laughs> us feel a, a lot that. more at ease with things that we post. Yeah, exactly. things like that. I've seen them so. <laughs> I can't, oh, I can't resist temptation. No. So the next time you're going to see us vlogging, we are going to be somewhere very, 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 very Olympia. exciting. Oh, I'm so excited and we haven't been since 2015. Four years. Yeah. Four years. And I've never been before that. I've been twice with my mummy but yeah not with you obviously. No. And I believe, oh sorry, a bit loud. So they still in here. I was gonna say I believe we've got behind the scenes and then I spilled we it. We have. Show me, so, you've seen it already. I have. We've got gallery passes for Thursday afternoon. They're pretty aren't they? I think. <laughs> I like the fact that pink and purple. And were you evening. like, did you request um, special colours? Is that where we're going on those days? <laughs> so we're there Thursday and Friday. Yes, we're travelling up. We've got train tickets. That's exciting. Too. That's all in there. I've naturally that's left all... these two envelopes in my handbag so that together, you don't forget so them. I don't forget them. I don't lose them. Don't put them somewhere in a safe place and then you can't remember. So yeah, um, we're super excited about that because we will be leaving on Wednesday evening and yes. we're not driving for a change. We're going on the train. Which is going to be much more relaxing. Mm, mm, I'm excited about that. Yes. So that will be how the vlog will be starting. Excited. On the train. Yeah. Have we ever done a train journey? No. No, we haven't, <laughs> have we? I don't yeah. know why, when we've got such easy access to it. I know. Okay. So yeah, tickets. Yeah, I haven't properly looked through this to be Live honest. zone passes. So we are there at approximately 6pm on the Thursday evening. So Ooh. if you guys are up at Olympia, yeah, do, do come, come and say hi. Yeah, and even if, um, again, if you see us walking around, anything like that, and want to say hello, do. don't you have to say hello. <laughs> yeah. um, but please do come over and come and You'll say no, we'll hi. We'll probably be like this. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we are vlogging whilst up there, obviously, but you never know, you might get in the vlog. Yeah, if you want to be in the vlog, do come and say hi. Yeah, um, and yeah, most importantly, live zone, six o'clock on the Thursday. So do come down. In between performances, isn't it? When the afternoon finishes, we'll then be on the live zone and then the evening performances will start. So even yeah. if you're coming maybe to the evening, get there a bit earlier and you can come and see us. Just gonna say or either if you have tickets for either performance, you can still access the live zone. Yes. It doesn't you don't just have to have evening performance tickets if you've had lunchtime ones. Yeah, you just can stay, stay around go down. for a bit longer. Yeah. Which yeah. is exciting, right? Don't let me lose any of this. No. Ooh, timetable, we're gonna have to have a skeet through and decide exactly what we want to ensure we're sat in our seats for. Yes. Because yeah. otherwise we'll get carried away down at the stables, behind the scenes, in the warm-up, and not Chashing actually away. see the thing. No, exactly. I love how people picked up on the vlog last week. This is lovely, We like it? talking. Yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed we like talking? Yeah, so we've got that, and that is the... Oh, that shows the And then... Da, 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 da. Ah. Oh, Fabaro. And if you haven't got your tickets yet, there yeah. are still some available on the Thursday. I think the weekend's fully sold out already. But Thursday, if anybody's off work and wants to come, we'll put a link below to the tickets because there's yep. still tickets available. And you can still get 30% oh, yeah. off. Using that code, <laughs> so that'll be below too. Yes. Let's put this away in a safe place back in your handbag before we then get to the train yeah. station on Wednesday and go, oh, is it your mum's house? <laughs> Remember when we were wrapping presents? <laughs> so right. that was in there. Yeah, they in there. Yeah. 
Yep, yep. They've gone in and that's gone in. And what I'm going to do now that we've now both seen them, I'm going to sanitate the top up so nothing to so out. Nothing to <laughs> out. Cool. So one of the questions that came through that we could focus this weekend's vlog on, although it's probably going to be far long enough already. As yeah, it is. when we think that we have, <laughs> we've got space for some other stuff, we seem to actually <laughs> end up not actually having space. No, um, was BE fixtures. So obviously we need to look down through the calendar properly. We couldn't do that the other day because we were in the car driving to wherever we were driving to. Easy bed demo. Yes. Good girl, right in the car. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have a quick look now. We know that our first event is Bobbington. Yes, which is going to be a regional final because it was abandoned at the end of last year. So that's a little bit daunting, but... Yes, but I don't actually know what date that is, to be honest. So let's find out. Not long after you get back from Thailand, no. I don't think. Fixtures and results. So I think we should just plan now, like maybe our first, first three, just to have a bit of an idea in our head well, because the thing is as well, if we do, one of us does somehow qualify, that will be one of the first three, probably. Oh, yeah, will we? <laughs> Badminton is very early on in the year, and obviously we're not assuming that we will. We both would love to. Yes. But no pressure. No. Still, see how much fun we had at Bobbington last year? Yeah. When we, both went, to go when we both went a bit too fast. Yeah, but... <laughs> But when you look back at that, you are actually just filled with happy memories, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, and definitely, 100%. So let's get the calendar up. Why is it not refreshing? Because you need to put it to 2020. Oh, I'm on 2019. Oopsie yeah. daisy. <laughs> Change the, um, this is how not to do it. Update. So Bovington will be, I think it's about the 10th. See, there's like Portland and stuff. And Before. Like... You're not going to be here. No, I know. <laughs> no, I am here for that. Oh, what, you're back a day? Uh, no, I'm back ten days. It would be nice ten to days. have a run before Before it, it would Ooh. be. I'm Ooh. back ten days before that. So Portman is the 31st of March. That sounds like it could be doable then. Yes. And then Bobbington would be two weeks later. Yeah, just to have a first run out. And that's not too far. I mean, it's quite... Oh. I thought I wasn't going to have a 90 then, but it does, yeah. Yeah. I did that on Sprite. That was one of my um, first runs of the season. Before but Badminton. you were running at Badminton. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so that's likely. Portman. Yeah. Bovington is on the 10th and 11th. So how, that's two weeks in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then find one Which for... is a nice time, Oh, I and think. then Bicton's the weekend after. Oh. Again, oh, trouble is you do have to enter prior to knowing your result from... Yes. <laughs> Bicton's so close and so fab, but the fact it's the weekend after Bovington, I just, would we do it? Will we Something do two in a row so early, early on in the season. season? Yes, no, I do get a fitness won't be exactly where we want it. And Is that, oh, poor, and poor Elliot, sorry, poor Elliot's closer. Sorry, Bicton, but you do run three. Yeah, so we can get there for two more in there. Poor Elliot was actually, oh, I was going to say first event last season, but it wasn't because Bovington was. The season yeah. before was my first event. And that's the 25th of April, that's a nicer time, Perfect. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So... Oh, we could aim for Portman rather than Bovington then. I reckon so. When do you get back from Thailand? The 20th of March. Mm. And On the Friday. Oh. And I... But Lola's going to be well schooled prior to oh, that, we're yeah. hoping, are we? Hoping, yes. <laughs> <Going> Fred. Fred. <laughs> no pressure, Fred. <laughs> um, I, yeah. yeah, but what I'm am I going to be like? <laughs> Not well schooled. <laughs> <laughs> nice and tanned, that's about it. Yeah. Portman is, schedules will be up yet though, will they? Entries open 18th of February. Fab. So you'd have to enter before you go on a holiday. And, and schedule yeah. is in preparation. Right, that's it. Let's aim for that. Yeah. 31st, 1st of, so probably be the 1st of April, I would have thought. 90 usually runs on a Sunday. Are we aiming for 90 first one? Yeah. 100%. 100% yeah. decided. I don't know why I even said that out loud. <laughs> so that's the first three in mind. Portman, Bovington. Poor Elliot. Poor Elliot. <laughs> Yeah, and, and the then if there is, is any the... cancellations or anything due to the wet ground You've or weather, got we've got Bicton as an option too. And what happened? Um, what was the date of Portman? Uh, Port Elliot, twenty fifth of April. Mm -hmm. So you've kind of got to bear in mind that could only be a week before Portman. Yes. <laughs> oh, but we don't like to jump the gun. No, not no. <laughs> so yes, but I think possibly, wearing... likely, if one of us was to be fortunate enough to qualify for badminton, we probably would then try and get a late entry to Bicton. 
Yeah, I reckon you. Yeah. I to have another run there and another dressage test and another show jumping round because yeah. you probably wouldn't do Port Elliot because it's only the week before that. Yeah, and I can remember that because that was two years ago when it was your first event and I didn't go. Um, I went with you, but I didn't ride. You and I... Steph came on foot, didn't yeah. you? Because Spritey wasn't going because she was going to Batters. <laughs> Right, let's get these cards written, me to the gym, and we're going to carry on with this vlog tomorrow, aren't we? I think so. We're going to take yeah. the doggies for a walk, so we thought we'd take you along with us. Yeah. We haven't decided where yet. I would quite like to go somewhere in Cornwall I've never been. Ooh. Challenge on. I had a memory come up of doing a walk, and I was like, oh, down um, Gudrevi, is it, with the, mm -hmm. with the lighthouse last year, and I was like, oh, a place I've never been before, and I really enjoying yeah going places like where. when we went to that beach the other day with them before we then yeah went exactly yeah i love going to new places and not it's always when mum and dad ask if you want to go for a walk around here i'm like mum i hack around here all the time <laughs> <laughs> i'd rather be on horseback yeah. than on foot <laughs> talking of on foot i've got to get to the yeah, gym so let's right. get this done and to the blue chip team we'll be back tomorrow thank you for all your yummy food <laughs> Thank Love you for keeping the horses, yeah. horses in such prime condition. Yeah, we I mean, could put it from us. No, you could from the horses. Could put it from the horses. Yeah, let's us. do that. Heel. So we said we were going to go somewhere new, but actually time's heel. run out. <laughs> Fast forward more than twenty-four hours. Oh, have you ah, not done anything heel. this morning? Heel. No. Oh, oh well, I haven't either. No. <laughs> That's for more than 24 hours. Yes. And we are dog walking. We are dog walking. It's not somewhere new. <laughs> but it's somewhere where we can't take the ponies because there's styles and it's all footpaths. So, can't take the, the spaniels instead. Yeah. Um, and we'd love to say they're being really well behaved, but um, being farm dogs, they very rarely have, have to go to, to hill. hill. <laughs> or we've lead. Only, we've only got about 100 metres of road to go, but... <laughs> And we've tried to get them to hill, but I love how we've given up now. Well, the vlogging took over. They're not listening yeah. to us now. But they will be good. Come here. And Come actually, here. all you'll hear is heel, heel, heel. heel. Oh, I run out of breath because I have to say it every Millie. sentence. Samuel. Heel. Millie. Heel. Heel. How not to train dogs. No. Heel. Oh, look, there's a car coming, heel. but I know this bit's good. Right, sit. Over here. Sit. Sam. Sit. Oh. Sit. Trouble is, good as soon as doggies. I say G-O-O-D, he thinks that's relief. That's like ponies when you say walk <laughs> <Yeah>. or trot. <laughs> they Wait. know it too much. Yes, around Pen Weathers. Well, yeah, like and then we ride it. all the way to the field opposite oh, my yeah, and yeah. dad. You can just see. In the background, you're never going to see it on there, I don't think. But uh, yeah, we can see it. Yes, we know where we're talking about. So we thought we'd introduce the doggy walks to those who don't know them. Yes. My Spangle Spangle Samuel. Samuel. They've just conveniently disappeared. disappeared. Yeah. Doggies, come on, come on. They're like we don't have to be to heel now. No. Sam's loving life. He's gonna sleep well tonight. These two are best of mates as well, aren't they? Yeah. They're, cute. they're like one's black and white, one's liver and white, and they're just <laughs> yeah. they're so suited like to each other. They're like Banksy and Lola in the, yes. in the doggy world. In the doggy world, me they love again. each other. Come on, she doesn't listen to me. She only listens to you. Millie, <whistles> come in then. Yes, very true. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. You've been Millie on the vlog a few times, haven't you? Well, both of them have. You're only a baby though, aren't you? Yes. So. 
She was tiny yeah. and fluffy and cute, Very weren't cute. you? Like, She's still cute, right? <laughs> it was quite funny when we got her at home because she was a bit nervy of men. She'd been raised by a woman and that's why she's still a little bit wary of men. And Dad was like, oh, I think I'm just going to have to give it to you because Dad got her to be a shooting dog, which you are and you are very good. Stop eating that food. Rabbit poop. <laughs> <laughs> but you are nice. Trained. You are <laughs> she says, are you, are you trying to share it with me? Yeah. You are, are you gun trained? Yeah, just trained. just not trained to not jump up. That's all spaniels' um, bad trait, isn't it? No, and that's what I, I don't really you encourage it. Yes. <laughs> but, like, she's much better behaved when she's with dad. <laughs> yes. Let me see. Ready? Woo! Gone. <laughs> Go, Sam. Find her. Oh, he's, I think Sam might be tired already. She loves the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Millie. <laughs> Millie doesn't run out of energy at all. Look at him. Are you tired, Sam? Wrong way. <laughs> of course, she's not going to do it when you're on camera. No, I know. Every time she comes running up to me, I go through that and she'll come flying through the middle of my bed. <laughs> are you having a rest? Yeah, he's tired. Yeah, you are. Tired, yeah. Sam Sam. Don't worry, it's not much further. He's not much further. <laughs> he says, I'm used to being a carpet dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to make your carpet nice tonight. Oh, shower for you when we get back. So, Samuel the Spaniel, Blue the Vimarana, who I haven't actually shown yet, but we'll do that in a minute. And our newest addition, those of you that don't know, this little purrer, purring really loud, listen. This little purrer arrived just over a year ago as a stray, although he feels like he's been in my life all of my life, don't you? I don't know what I would do without you because you're just like my little best yard mate, aren't you? Samuel the Spaniel actually found him October, the very end of October last year. He was in here sleeping in the hay, fast asleep. Um, and Sam came round sniffing and sniffing and sniffing like there were rats. He wasn't barking or anything. He just came round and he was sniffing and sniffing and he was curled up fast asleep. Didn't even hear us. Whereas now he's like in your face all the time, aren't you? And yeah, he's been here ever since. Needless to say, I feed him lots and um, love him lots. And he's had no desire to go anywhere else since, have you? You love it here, don't you? Do you love it here? Um, he was going to be Barney the barn cat because obviously we have Banksy and Bertie and Barney but he ended up just being puss puss didn't you purring puss puss because you just purr and purr and purr all the time don't you and you're gorgeous and I love you very much and I've tried to get him to come inside and he'll come inside for a few hours but then he um gets bored and wants to come back out I think you get too hot really don't you because our house is hot because we have wood burners in there that heat it and you want to come through back out. You stayed inside overnight once or twice. But that's about it, isn't it? And he loves going on your shoulders, don't you? Come in, come on in. Come on in. Yes, come on in. Oh, don't get camera shy. Come on. Not today he doesn't love getting on your shoulders, but... <laughs> Puss Puss, you don't ever do that to me. You only do that to Robbo. He is just here every morning and every night. Ah! <laughs> lapping up the attention and I literally do not know what I would do without him I love him so 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 much he's gorgeous we took him to the vet when we first got him to see whether he was chipped and anybody was missing him because <laughs> he's just so lovable he's nothing like a stray he just loves attention fuss cuddles food don't you but he wasn't chipped um they reckon he's over 10 and they reckon he's had a uh, owner previously and it, that he can't be a full stray because he's had a lot of dental surgery. He's only got about two teeth. Hence, he dribbles a lot, don't you? 
Yes, yes, you do. Do you want to show in your mouth? No. But yeah, I couldn't imagine life without him now. Um, so I'm hoping he's younger than 10 and he's got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of years left in him. Because I love him unconditionally, don't I? You're gorgeous and you brighten up my morning and night every single day. <laughs> and he just loves cuddles and attention, don't you? It's just a shame Blue Dog doesn't like him. Talking of Blue Dog, let's go and introduce you to Blue Dog and see whether he's got um, anything to say to the camera. There's my boy! Hi Blue Dog! Big stretch! You can say hello to the vlog, Blue! Say hi! Say hi! You can do some speaking? Oh, yes you are! I don't know how well we're going to hear you because of the washing machine. Speak! Speak! Yeah! Oh yeah, Blue Dog's 11, aren't you Blue? You're getting old now, hence he didn't come walking with Samuel yesterday. Because he gets tired quite quickly, don't you? Yes, you do! And he agrees with everything you say, don't you Blue? Yes, you do! Really? Are you doing the vlog intro today? Are you doing the vlog intro? Are you? What happened next? No. And it goes really, really high, don't you, Blue? Oh. Oh. oh, can you smell puss puss? It's like, because I don't have any puss puss snuggles. You go really, really high pitch and you also go really, really deep, don't you? Can you do a deep one? Oh, wow, 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 wow. You just want puss puss smell. Yeah, that's a high one, and then you also do a really deep one, don't you? Do a deep one. Yeah, and that's about it, isn't it? And you're the most loyal dog you would ever meet, aren't you? Yes, you are. The most loyal, loyal, loyal boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You think you're human, don't you? Do you think you're human? Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. And Sam just looks like vacant about yeah. it, don't you, Sam? So that's Blue Dog. She's in a bit of a better mood now, so now is the time to introduce you to the vlog, isn't it, Mila? Hey? Hey? Mila is now three. Um, I did have to look that up because I wasn't quite sure actually how old she was. But she's three and a half and has been with us since she was very little. We kind of got her by chance. We weren't actually looking for a cat at all. She lives with Chris and I and she we came across her by chance like tina and i once went up to the hay barn getting tina some hay and we came across a litter of kittens in this little den then kept an eye on them but then one day they just pretty much disappeared and didn't really know where they went until mum you can go and sleep until mum said to dad and i oh i think i hear this cat meowing somewhere but i'm not sure where it's coming from Dad and I couldn't hear it or anything like that, but mum was adamant that she had. So dad went on the hunt for this cat, kitten, and came across Mila down a mine shaft on a bit of a ledge. So he tied himself to a tree and went down and fetched Mila. <laughs> and then gave mum then gave me a ring and said, oh, we found a kitten. It took a little bit of persuading of Chris to actually say, yes, we could have a cat. But I think he's glad that he's got you, isn't he? Your daddy's girl, for sure. She's the princess of the house. Um, and then she came back and she's been with us ever since. She is still a little bit feral. She can be a bit like, she doesn't really like attention like that. And you can only really touch her face. My tail's going now, look. <laughs> but... We definitely wouldn't, we would be lost without you now, wouldn't we? It would feel very strange. And she's really funny. For a feral cat, she literally is a princess of the house. She doesn't leave the proximity of outside. She does go out every now and again, but not very often. Um, you're much more of an indoor cat, aren't you? And do you know, she's never actually caught a bird, a mouse, anything in her life. Like, at all. <laughs> you're pretty useless when it comes to that, aren't you? So that's maybe why she ended up being abandoned from her mum. Or is that a bit mean? That a bit mean. <laughs> but yeah, this is Mila. So it is now a Monday morning and I am out for a lush hack on Subanxi. So much so that I'm going to put my phone down and enjoy it. But I did just want to pop on and explain 
Well, we've kind of already said, but why this vlog is running into Thurs uh, Thursday is not running into Thursday at all because Thursday will be at Olympia. Why this vlog is running into Tuesday. Um, Em's got something really, 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 really exciting happening tomorrow. Um, it's not all going to be included in this vlog. However, a tiny weeny bit of it is. So we wanted to keep the vlog running and also to show my lovely weekend i've literally had four days off and i am buzzing it's been so relaxing and refreshing and to know that i've only got one and a half straight two days to work this week now oh that way sweetheart he says hold the reins then mum no that way sweetheart use your legs <laughs> um yeah before heading up on the train on wednesday night to olympia ah oh, just so excited so 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 excited so if any of you guys are there please do pop and say hello if you see us or come down to the live zone at six o'clock on Thursday. That's in between performances, in between the afternoon and evening performances. And I do believe if you're watching this and you can spontaneously get a day off work, that there are still tickets available for Thursday, both performances, afternoon and evening. So if you're umming and ahhing about coming, head over and get your tickets booked because it would be great to see you guys and it just really does get you in the Christmas spirit. I have also just put on my Instagram the live BBC Red Button show viewing coverage times. Obviously this isn't going live till Tuesday evening when the dressage will have already been on. However, the puissance, the um, show jumping Grand Prix and one more event is going to be covered by BBC Red Button. So head over, I'll put a link below to the information so that you guys that aren't able to make it are able to watch from home. But for now, off to enjoy the boy. Over and out until I'm uh, back with Emily tomorrow. Me, Em and Lola will be going somewhere. And now she runs away. Oh no, she's back. <laughs> she's back, she's back. Um, yeah, very, 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 very exciting. I'm a bit like I don't really know what to say. And it's so hard, we're both rubbish at keeping secrets. <laughs> Like literally, this has been the hardest thing to keep quiet. About. I know, and um, not to um, take any of the attention away from Emily's surprise, but I just had a surprise as well. Oh, I know, and straight away I was like <laughs> screenshots sending to Emily. <laughs> oh, that was meant to be a secret, <laughs> but it did say on it going com strictly confidential. confidential. <laughs> yeah, but we're like joined at the hip. It's Lola. Fine. Lola's raring to go. She really is. So for now, we're going to end the vlog. Okay. Are we or not? My little Am I going to show anything? My little clue. Yeah. Um, remember when we travelled? Oh, look at the show our nails. Sorry. Christmas nails. Ready for Olympia yeah. tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Think we back. Travel? We travelled up to near Taunton. No, not Taunton. It wasn't that far. It wasn't Devon far somewhere. At all. It was like Devon or something. Mm -hmm. With my mum. Mm -hmm. With Tina. <laughs> to somewhere that holds a lot of stock. Ooh, to yeah, meet up, game away, yeah, to meet up with a lady to try some things out, <laughs> and we have already talked about them further back in this vlog. Yes. them, not them, but you know, you know. If you know, you know. You know, you know. It was an appropriate, appropriately asked question it on your Insta stories. Question. Lola's raring to she go. She really there. is. She is a keen bean. Right. So <laughs> all we can say now is. To be continued. Yeah. Dot dot dot. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> and hopefully, whatever we do, we'll be able to. You'll be able to tell people very soon. Very very soon. Very soon. <laughs> but for now. Oh god. Oh, she's run away again. No. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Don't give too much, or are you? I might do it very very quick. <laughs> for now yeah this is super exciting but so is olympia <gasps> next week's vlog i need to get my horse out so yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes see you at olympia bye that was very very that high was very pitch. high pitched you know i go at high pitch when i'm excited <laughs> hopefully see some of you guys at olympia yes for sure yes six o'clock in the live zone Thursday night. Thursday night. Yes. Yeah. Carl Hester's there tonight at five o'clock. Wish it? we were there today. Yeah. Only, anyway. Uh, oh, I had a dream about Charlotte. You died. <laughs>
honestly, no, oh, not like that. Well, she knows now if we bump into them anywhere up there, I'll be telling them. I did. She was at a competition that we were competing at. Our horses, Lola and Banksy, were this side, and she was that, Is that side. Is that why you put your dress on saddle? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Over and out. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>